Good day, guys and girls. So if you're here today, you're more than likely interested in some car maintenance and you're interested in painting your calipers and your rotors and more specifically, you're interested in doing that on your brand new Ford Mach-E. But this will apply to any vehicle, not just any EV vehicle, apply to any vehicle. Um, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret that most people would, most YouTubers would make you wait until the end. We're gonna tell you right away. See these brakes here, four, four piston calipers, two and two, they are Brembo's. They are 100% genuine Brembo brakes. They are not a duplication that Ford has made. They are legit Brembo brakes. They're not a lesser grade of Brembo brakes. They are full on Brembo brakes. So I think what Ford was thinking was that they didn't want to uh, take away from the GT model, which comes with Brembo brakes as Brembo written on it. If you look at them side by side, they are identical. So I don't think they wanted to take away from the GT model, you know, wanted to give you that little extra, uh, you know, prestige of having the GT and having Brembo, you know, red brake pads or red brake uh, calipers and having the Brembo name all over it. But I think what the other driving factor was, no pun intended, was that Ford needed something that they know could stop this vehicle. It's some 55, 5,600 pounds, I believe, for the all-wheel drive extended range model. They need something that they know will bring this vehicle to a stop and will uh, perform. And by perform, I mean with regenerative braking, you're not using these brakes nearly as much. And I think the Brembo brakes, because they're a floating caliper, they've got the brake pads that slide in here, the sliding pins are more robust. Again, it's made for a performance vehicle, right? So I think they said, well, we know it's gonna work. It's tried and true. Let's throw it on this thing, but we're not gonna advertise that it's Brembo brakes. That's, that's my rationale or my, my uh, thinking behind it. Could be totally wrong, who knows? But it has been proven. You can check it up on uh, forums. They've found the information on the internet. These are legit Brembo brakes. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna paint the actual caliper with this Pour 15 caliper paint comes very, very highly recommended. And the reason why I like it too is it's a brush on. So we're gonna be able to apply it to any place that we actually need it and not the places that we don't want it. And for the actual rotors, which I think might be a little bit overkill, is the VHT caliper paint. I've used this on all my vehicles, lasts a very, very long time. Uh, even in Canadian climates with salt and uh, brine that they put on the road and again I think that's the reason why they went with the Brembo's because you can get some uh, additional contamination in there it's very well protected you can't see the sliding pins everything's in there really the only pin you've got is right here which is locking the two calipers together so or sorry it's locking in the brake pads I should say so getting back a little bit to the GT model, there's been talk that, okay, the GT model might have bigger rotors on it, might have more aggressive pads, that's fine. But again, these are Brembo brakes. So getting back to this now, we're gonna paint the, uh, they call this the hat, this area right here. We're gonna paint that black and it's just gonna keep this from rusting. You can see like we just got a little bit of rust here. That's fine, it's normal. A little bit of rust starting on the top, that's normal, but we want this interior to kind of remain that way. So again, it's probably a little overkill, but we're gonna hit it with a coat or two of the VHT. And that's gonna be basically, the whole point of this video is to get everything protected, but at the same time, get this thing looking really, really nice. So what we're gonna start off with is some CRC brake clean. And it doesn't have to be this particular brand uh, I just like it because it comes very well reviewed and well respected, I guess is what I'm trying to say. We're just going to take a piece of paper towel. Careful, this does have some, some force behind it, so don't press super hard. And all we're going to do is wipe down the entire surface. And you can follow it up with some rubbing alcohol if you want. But from what I know about brake cleaner, it evaporates 
And as you can see, we're getting some contaminants off. So we'll do the same thing on what they call the hat or this intersection of the rotor. And we're going to be ready for paint. Hey guys and girls. So we are back and I want to apologize first of all, because through some consideration here, I've decided that we're not actually going to paint the hat of the rotors here the reason being that i can already see rust starting up here there's rust starting up here that rust is going to creep it's going to creep and it's going to actually creep out of these uh holes here where the studs are coming through and it's just not gonna do what i want it to do i don't think the juice is worth the squeeze as they say i think it's just going to be a waste of time to be honest if I lived in uh, Southern California or I wasn't taking this out in the winter time with the beet juice and the brine and the uh, sorry the salt that we use around here I, I just think that this is a waste of time so $23.99 that's going to save me that's the price that we pay here in Canada uh, it's probably about two bucks in the good old US of A but it's quite expensive too I wouldn't mind the expense as long as it worked you know, this was $24.99 for that caliber paint. It's not cheap, but it comes highly, re highly recommended, highly regarded. So we're going to just go ahead and paint the calipers. I think that's why most of you are here. Again, I apologize for the street noise. It's the busiest street in town. So we went to the dollar store. We picked up this pack. We don't care if we use them again. We could wash them if we really want to, but we're likely just going to throw them out. We've masked off the stuff that we want to mask off. If you did want to paint the rotors with the VHT paint or any other kind of spray paint for that fact, or even a brush, um, what you would do is just basically mask this off and then spray this. You want to mask off all this, mask off your hub, spray it. And I would do that first before you do this, because in this case, it's a brush on, you're going to want to spray that first and the brush, it doesn't matter, right? So you don't have to actually mask off the freshly painted rotor in order to paint the caliper is basically what I'm saying. So we've gone ahead, we've masked off all the stuff that we think is important. These are just those caps for um, filling up and bleeding the brakes and the brake fluid. We could take them off. I've left them and just taped them off. This is one of the tubes for brake fluid. Again, just masked it off. And then basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a finer brush we're going to go around the perimeter we're going to mask everything off or, or sorry we're going to create a border with this and essentially masking off the exterior and then we're going to fill probably the interior in with one of these big brushes to try to make up some of that time and uh without further ado here we go We're not going to try to put it on too thick in the beginning. I apologize if you can hear that person singing in the background. Hopefully it's not coming through. And that's basically what we're gonna do. We're just gonna go around all the tight spots. And we're just gonna basically create kind of like a border or a mask around the exterior. Try to get as many brush strokes out of it as we can. And then we're gonna fill in with the big boy, the bigger brush on the interior. And we'll be good to go. Okay, guys and girls, so we've created the perimeter and we've basically covered the areas that we want to cover that you're going to be able to see from the exterior. You know, we're not concerned with the backside. We're just concerned with what you'll be able to see through the actual uh, uh, through the tire sorry and through the rims is what I'm trying to get out so we're gonna switch now to the bigger brush 
and try to do more broad strokes and try to get rid of some of the paint lines. And again, we're tr not trying to go super, super thick. And you'll get a, you get a sense of how it goes on and how to apply it as you go. You get to know how the coverage goes and all that. I don't think working in the sun is maybe the best thing for it, but it should make the next coat application go on sooner as it should speed up the dry time. You don't want to do this on too humid of a day either. I know a lot of people don't have to deal with that in the United States, but here in southwestern Ontario and Canada, it may surprise you, but it gets more humid than Florida. And that's just a fact. Spray paint would definitely not take as long. It would be a little bit more uniform. The problem with spray paint is first of all, it goes everywhere. But second of all, it is very, very thin. And when I say very thin, I mean very thin. I think this area we should have done with the smaller brush. Hopefully my head's not getting in this shot too much either. That's the other part that I'm trying to deal with. So you get the idea. We're just gonna hit this with first coat of paint. We're gonna let it tack up a little bit so that we can add the second coat. All right, guys and girls. So you can see we've got the first paint coat applied. And I will say that we made a little bit of a boo-boo here because of the surface area of this piston and the uh, it just just the size of it and the groove that was around it, it caused some paint to build up in there. We went a little bit too heavy on that. So we've got a couple of drips. It's okay. You're not gonna see it, um, especially once we put the second coat on. Again, I apologize for all the traffic here. It's the nature of the beast in this neighborhood. Busiest in town, fastest too, one of the most dangerous, but we're getting off point. So we're gonna put the second coat on. It's been more than half an hour. Uh, the can does say wait three to four hours before putting on the second coat. Um, I, like most of you, do not have that kind of time that we can uh, wait half an hour or wait three to four hours, I should say. So we're going to see how it goes with applying right now. It's just barely tacky, like just barely. So I think it's a good time to put that coat on. We can get the rims back on and move along and get the rest of these done. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did before. I put the bags, or put the brushes in a bag so that they wouldn't dry out nearly as fast because this paint, it really does start to tack up very quick. So we're just gonna do the same thing that we did the first time. We're gonna start with a nice border. Try not to put it on too thick. And we're gonna continue that for the entire caliper and we'll see you with the results. So guys and girls, as you can see, we've got the second coat on there. Everything is really brightened up. There's a couple of spots kind of up in here that it was just hard to get it to stick uh, maybe the paint, the first coat needed more time to dry, um, but we can always hit that up after. It's not a big deal, but overall quite impressed with how it turned out. If you guys and girls do happen to get some paint somewhere that you don't need it, take a little bit of rubbing alcohol, paint thinner, Varsol, uh, even brake cleaner, and it will take that paint off. So don't sweat it if you do happen to get something somewhere, but as you can see, turned out very very well that paint is thick 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 that was two coats and hardly used anything out of that container so if we do need to go back sometime later and actually touch something up we've got lots of paint to do that so what we'll do is we'll get 
everything painted up. We'll get all the tires and rims back on there and we'll do a final video and show you what it looked like. Good morning guys and girls. So it is the following day. It's a little quieter because it's earlier in the morning. It was a good time to make a follow-up video to the painting of the calipers. And I'd say they look pretty darn good. Now, I will say that for whatever reason, the big wide sections of caliper did not paint as well as the small sections. For whatever reason, two coats on the rears just really coated well, but can't say the same about the big calipers. But the rears, two coats, more than enough. You can see these retaining clips, they got some paint on them. Believe me, those clips are gonna rust in no time, especially in climates that get uh, snow. Those things are gonna rust in no time and no amount of protection, first of all, is gonna keep it from rusting, but second of all, that paint will be gone along with the rust or along when the rust comes around. So don't get worried about that. You could pull those clips off if you really wanted to and i'm probably going to get those comments why didn't you pull those clips off they are so difficult to get back on that putting them back on you're going to scrape all along here and if that paint's cured for a week you might stand a shot of actually keeping some of that paint but fresh paint like that it's just going to tear it right off so it may look you know a little a little uh, loose or, or sloppy but uh, believe me in no time it's gonna disappear but again there's some remnants of our taping for whatever reason the wide calipers it, it showed more of the brush stroke so I'm definitely gonna put one more coat so a total of three coats onto the front rotors or sorry the front calipers only but the rest of it in my opinion looks fantastic so if you guys and girls enjoyed the video it gave you some inspiration gave you some knowledge to go out and try something that maybe you wouldn't have before think about giving me a thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down tell me why down in the comments also if you have any questions put it down in the comments uh if you're new to this channel think about hitting subscribe too uh we're all about the content, not the quality of the content, as you can see. So if you enjoyed the content, you think that the content's more important than how flashy it is, you found the right place. We're trying to give you that information that you guys and girls can use as homeowners, vehicle owners, property owners, and get out there and go do something that you didn't think you were capable of, because you never know unless you bear. We'll see you on the next video.